Hello guys, Craig from Fix It Fellows and I'm back in the Audi TT and this follows on from the video I've done about activating Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and Lifetime Maps using the most incredible Bash software. Now, as it's been said in that video and on all the forums, when you do this, you do get a fault code in Module 5F and today I'm going to attempt to clear it. Now I have a copy of VCDS and I am going to connect it to the car and see if I can change the code. And to do that, I'm going to be using the website I'm so sorry. So let's give it a try. Right, okay, so I've got my VCDS running. I am going to go to here and select control module. Just wait for that to open. Okay, now we want module 5F. Here, we've got tabs across the top. So we want to go to electronics 2. And then we go to 5F Information Electronics, and it loads that. So it's loading up all my information about Module 5F. So there it goes, it loads it all up. And now if I click on Fault Codes, it will come up there with Fault Code 1555B201A. Now that's the generic code that comes up when you do a flash of the software, but don't then subsequently do a comparison check, which you're advised not to do when doing the upgrades in the way that we do them. So anyway, what we now need to do is try and clear this code. Now, based on my research on the TT forum, this information is all garnered from the very clever fellas and ladies on the TT forum. It's not me coming out with this stuff. I've just read it and I'm just conveying it to you. So, you know, I don't want to be taking any credit for this stuff. Um, this is above my pay grade. So anyway, let's come out of here. Let's do done and go back. We need to go to adaptions there, number 10. We need to go to this thing here, this channel here, drop down menu. That's a big long list of codes. Right, we are looking for IDEO 02, IDEO 2502, confirmation of installation change. Okay, let's select that. Okay, now having uh, selected the IDEO 02502, we get presented with a screen and it gives us a stored value. Now this is what they call a hexadecimal number. Um, so it's currently 1CE4. Now I need to take that number and I need to go to I'm So Sorry website and generate a new value here and enter that new value. So first things first, let's go to I'm So Sorry. Right, in order to get to the I'm So Sorry website, I'm going to go via the mibhelper.com page. So up here there is a link, so I'm just going to uh, click on that. I'm so sorry and there we go we get taken straight to the I'm so sorry page that is specifically for uh, this error code that we're trying to clear so we need to type in this space here the error code that we've just retrie retrieved on our VCDS which was one capital C space capital E4 and then we search and there we go, it's generated a replacement key, uh, lowercase d536. Okay, so now we just need to key that in to our VCDS. Right, so we're back here at the VCDS, and now we are going to enter the new code. So we'll delete out the old one, and we type in the new one, which was lowercase d5 space 36 and we press do it and it's asking do you want to do that and we say yes okay so having pressed do it it's saying the controller accepted the request we'll now read the channel again so okay to that so let's go back supposedly we can now clear that fault code fault codes Clear the codes, yes to that, okay, if we come out 
and go back in at fault codes, will the code come back or not? No, it has cleared, so there you go. It accepted the 5D36, and when you subsequently clear the code again, it's gone. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out completely. I'm going to shut down VCDS. Right, so I've shut it down, I've reopened it. I'm going to go to select a control module. I'm going to go down to information 5F. 5F. Let's load that up. So it will communicate with the car, it will populate the VAG number and the component, etc, etc, etc. Wait for these greyed out bits to become available. Okay, so if I click on fault codes, no fault code found. Right, so there you go. You can clear the fault code in Module 5F using VCDS and using I'm So Sorry website. You can also do it on OBD11, I'm, I'm led to believe. But there you go, can be done. Uh, where it needs to be done, I, I really don't know. Uh, anyway, I've done it. So thanks for watching. Please be sure to check out some of my other videos. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon.